What is going on everyone? Today we are diving into the latest 4K gameplay we got from Ashes, where Steven and some devs take us into the Alpha 1 Siege area and take on some dragons while explaining to us how the Siege system will work in the Alpha 1 testing. In Alpha 1, the siege system might work a bit different than as you'd expect in the final game. The coding for this has been taken straight out of the Ashes of Creation Apocalypse engine, ready for Alpha 1 testers to give their feedback on. In Alpha 1, players will be able to join guilds and these guilds will be able to register for siege events. When this happens, they will be placed in a queue for a three hour long event, where 100 players will go up against another 100 players to attack or defend the castle. And if you think a 200 player war is epic, well Intrepid is working to push that even further by launch as sieges are expected to be up to 500 v 500. Anyways, the attacking team will start out in a staging area that has trebuchets that can be driven while the defenders would start in the castle. It sounds like the trebuchets will be the only siege weapon in Alpha 1 and are expected to do light damage to players and large damage to buildings to help take the castle. All of this is happening in what Intrepid referred to as the siege level, which is an area of the Alpha 1 map that has a castle along with objectives such as capture points, bosses such as the Elder Dragons that give you buffs when defeated, and exclusive crafting resources that will be required to make some of the higher end crafting gear in the alpha. Obviously, those defending will want to keep these guys out of the castle so they don't breach the walls. The castle can be overtaken if the attacking team captures a relic in the throne room and holds it for a certain amount of time, then the attacking team wins, the defending team loses, and the siege is over. These events will be happening in the alpha once a day throughout the 30 day testing period. As I said earlier, throughout the map there are the Elder Dragons that can help you turn the tide of battle in your favor. These guys are meant for 40 to 60 players to take on out of the 100 that would be in your raid party. In the case of the Alpha 1 Siege map, there are three different dragons to fight. The Elder Dragon of the Woods, which specializes in poison, using area denial to make you watch your step as he causes poison to build up on the ground. He also has a ground slam type ability that does more damage the further out it goes, so the outer rain is going to hurt a lot more than the inner rain so people want to stay close to him in that and he also breathes poison at enemies and spits purple balls in the air that rain down and create more poison puddles at players. When he reaches phase 2 he is able to cast these rage abilities at random causing it to be a little less scripted. There is also the elder dragon of flame which specializes in fire breathing it from its mouth and also performing a mirror image ability that creates copies of himself. And lastly, there is the Elder Dragon of Tundra, which as you'd expect, has frost abilities. This guy can freeze you in place, shoot out ice at the party, create icicles that trap you in them if you walk through, and breeze ice out of his mouth instead of fire. The siege system set up for Alpha 1, although far from fully implemented, sounds like it'll be a really fun time, but for those who tune in to watch this or are playing it, keep in mind that this is again far from how it will actually play out in the final game and is built for Alpha 1 to give you a small idea of how it works and to get as much feedback as possible from the testers. What is your thought on the Alpha 1 Siege system? Let me know in the comments down below and if you have yet to make an Ashes account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications and stay tuned for a lot more to come.